I'm Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So today here is supposed to get really windy. So it is still early morning. It's about 8.30. Okay, maybe not too, too early. <laughs> but yes, it's about 8.30 and I was watching some channels this morning to catch up. But uh, I'm a little bit behind. Oh no. Uh, my husband's still not feeling the best. But he was feeling a bit better last night. So um, every little bit helps. So please continue your prayers for him. And thank you so much to all those that did. Uh, keep him in your thoughts and prayers yesterday because yeah, he was in a bit of a rough shape um, But I it's just I think it's just a cold. It's just a cold just a cold, but we know how men are <laughs> Oh, But anyway uh, today I Celebrate and I say I celebrate uh, my mom's passing she passed five years ago today and Jesus took her home my good Lord there took her home and so today I'm going to share with you now she was an inspiration she was um, an amazing woman uh, she just loved everybody didn't matter who you were she did she would love you and she would hug you and she would kiss you and total strangers <laughs> that's who my mom was um, but she loved Jesus. She absolutely, she just loved her Lord. And so today I got some diamond paintings from Timu that I'm going to share with you. Uh, kind of just pertaining to the different, uh, she taught, she told us all the Bible stories uh, growing up. So we always had devotions and yeah, she would, um, she would, she would talk about all the different little stories in the Bible. So from David and Goliath to Jonah and the whale to uh, um, Daniel and the lion's den, like all those little stories. And then at night she would, and then she'd put a little twist on it or something. So, but anyway, so that's what I'm going to share with you today. Um, so, yeah, whoops, there goes a card. That one wasn't meant for us. So we are doing our wild offering. It's called one wild offering oracle. It's got 52 deck card on giving it all to God. Now I did get this from Timu. It cost three dollars and ninety eight cents, and I did get one price adjustment on it. So I'm just going to pick a card here, and I was shuffling while I was talking. So, <laughs> oh, doubt. That is our thing today. But look how pretty the card is. <laughs> doubt it says offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises but you can say free me from this prison of doubt I cast this burden to you show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence yeah there's so much doubt out there today oh my goodness so much doubt and it's shade if you cast if you cast that burden to God you don't have that doubt anymore says you will be restored and restore to me faith and confidence so you just get rid of that doubt and you will be restored faith and confidence so if you're doubting I would say don't be a doubting Thomas <laughs> yes don't doubt um, because uh, when you do you won't have that faith and confidence that you need so I have so much confidence. Um, I always just give everything to the Lord. Excuse me, my eyes tearing again. <laughs> I always give everything to the Lord, and um, that's kind of how I live my day today. Is I always think God has everything in control, and He does. He's in control. He knows what's going to happen today. He knows what's going to happen tomorrow. He totally sees the future. He's created the future. So yes, he knows. And so don't doubt things. Just have to trust in him. He will, he's the one. Trust in him. Uh, some things have to happen for his return. And um, we as humans don't really know what, what everything is. Yes, there's parts of the Bible that tell us. But in general, we don't really know what all has to happen. I mean, we know that there's going to, you know, be 
wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and oh by the way there was a huge earthquake in Bakersfield around Bakersfield five point something yesterday so I guess they were being shaken up <laughs> over there in California but uh, but anyway yeah so there'll be earthquakes and and brimstones and uh, I presume that means fires and um, so as you can see the, the oceans are going crazy they're, they're heating up and uh, they're causing havoc with the hurricanes and uh, this this past spring was crazy with tornadoes so so yeah you know when you dealt things right well, well I dealt that or I dealt this well no it's all in his plan and he's coming back he is coming back for you and he's coming back for me as long as we believe we need just need to believe so yes, you all, it says, I cast this burden to you, so cast all your burdens onto him, and he will restore your faith and confidence. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. That was our card for today. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I went to on, I'm actually, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I was a preaching. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anywho. Yes. Absolutely love these cards. And that was the message for today. <laughs> Alright. Shout out. I do have a shout out today. This lovely lady is from Denmark. I think her name is Lula, Luna, Luna, Lua? I, I don't know. Luna or Lua. She has a bit of an accent, but I just love it. Um, I also have a Dawn Painting friend in Romania, so I found this one, and she's from Denmark. So, our European friends over there, I know there's a couple of them. There's, um, Diamond by P, no, yeah, well, there's the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I would say African, but not African. Um, the Australians, so there's my Australian friends, and then, yes, I do have some in Europe, um, and that is, I have a couple in UK, and then I have some, oh, and then I have one in um, Ireland, and if I'm missing anyone, no, it's my apologies, but yeah, I know I have the UK, I know I have Ireland, I think Iceland too, and I might even have one in the Netherlands, if I remember correctly. So anyway, so I came across her channel, Diamond Painting Madness is her channel's name. And it just says diamond painting conversion or uh, conversions and mysteries is what her channel is. But I have watched some of her. I just absolutely adore her. Um, like I said, she's got a totally cool accent, and that is her um, channel right there. And uh, she did a Timu haul and updates on diamond painting whipping chats. Oh, she just came back from a vacation. So she was away on vacation, but she does a lot of um, Timu, uh, she does FG Normal. I think she also did, yeah, she's got uh, Diamond Art. Uh, I think she was also doing a DAC, if I remember correctly. Maybe not, maybe it wasn't her. Um, but anyway, it looks like she was on here like two years ago. And then she kind of stopped, and then she was on one year ago, and then she just did a couple videos. And then from two months upward, she that's where most of her videos are from. She has 629 subscribers, and she's got 29 videos out there. Um, but yeah, she, um, maybe she isn't the one that I saw with. Yeah, I think she just does mostly Timu uh, that I see. She does a lot of whipping chats. And she did diamond painting with fairy, du fairy dust drills and meditation. Uh, Timu hauls an update on diamond paintings. Uh, sleepy diamond painting. Cute Christmas corgi. Working on a cute gnome. But anyways, guys, go check her out. Go share our RV love with her. Go show Denmark. <laughs> some RV love and uh, her name is not Denmark but she's from Denmark yes go and uh, share our RV love and uh, go subscribe go give her a like and leave her a comment I'm sure she'd absolutely love to leave a comment she does speak in English so just in case any of you um, are wondering so yes so there you go uh, 
Luna, I think. Lua, Lua, maybe. Or Luna. <laughs> I know. She's just my damn painting madness. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so that is the shadow for today. All right. We are going to get into these diamond paintings. So, like I said, th these ones are all faith based. And we're going to start off with the very largest ones. Now, they do all come from Timu. I didn't price them out, but I will leave links uh, in my description. And um, some of these I've had for a while and have been saving uh, to share with you. So, hopefully, they're still all in, um, all in, whatchamacallit, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, all in stock. <laughs> they haven't been discontinued. Alright, so I'm going to just move you down here. If I can get you all the way down. There we go. Alright, so this one is a big one. I think this one is a 60 by... Hold on, let me see. Yeah, 60 by 45. And this one comes with the little baggies that we just absolutely love to hate. <laughs> I'm just going to move you back just a little bit here. Hopefully you can see a little bit more. And then I'm gonna plug this. Hold on, guys. Ooh. There we go. The cord was kind of holding it. Alright, there we go. So yeah, so it comes in all these little baggies here that we just absolutely love. Why, Timu? Why? Actually, it's not Timu, it's the company. <laughs> but it does come with a um, color chart. Not sure how many colors are in this one, but um, here is the picture of it right here. Because I know uh, the painting itself looks a little bit um, off, but there's the Lord's Supper. Uh, there he is being, uh, Jesus is being baptized, I believe, at the bottom there. So it tells a story. I believe he's preaching up here in the, uh, in, up here, and I believe this is him in a boat. You know the story of uh, the fisherman. I think it's either the story of the fisherman where he tells them to throw their nuts over, and they just get so much fish they can hardly carry them in. So yeah, I think that's what that story is about. But anyway, so that yes, these are the diamonds, and we will look at the paint. And here it is. And like I said, it is a little bit distorted or pixelated. I think pixelated is the right word, but upside down, I cannot tell what anything is. <laughs> I cannot tell anything. So maybe what I'll do too is I'm going to look on Timo after when I edit my video and I'm going to, ooh, and this stinks. This has a smell to it. I do not believe, no, I believe this is poured glue. Oh, it smells. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so if I can still find it on Timu, I'm going to uh, show you the picture up on the screen because, uh, yeah, the picture there probably wasn't very good. And, but it is a 60 by, 60 by 45 and I cannot get this straight today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So as many of you know, I was adopted. And so yes, my parents picked me out. <laughs> And uh, how blessed I was that uh, they did. And like I said, I had a wonderful, wonderful mother. Um, very funny. Oh my goodness, she was funny. Uh, she loved making people smile. She loved telling jokes. Um, she just loved being funny. She had two really, really, really close friends in her life. And they were um, older than her. Um, they were about 10 years older than her, so, but they were her best, best friends. She had many friends, don't get me wrong, she had very, very, but her two closest friends, yeah. Um, she loved going out, she loved 
um, going to the city all the time. She would take people for appointments and oh, she was just such a lovely, lovely lady. And everybody in the town just loved her. And anyway, here you go. She loved helping the um, less fortunate or the one with um, disabilities. And she was forever helping them. And yeah. Anyway, so there's, of course, you can see the Lord's Supper there. And yeah, I think you can see that there at the bottom. And then here's the top part there. But yeah, it's still kind of it's really pixelated, really kind of hard to see. But I'm hoping this one turns out beautiful. Uh, here's a gel fill on it. Looks pretty good. So there are some training circles on this painting as well. So, and then here's the chart. So this is what I mean. So their chart isn't the best. I mean, that's it right there. So it does give you the DMC codes, and it gives you, of course, the color of the symbols, but that's about it. That's all you get. But yeah, here's the training circles up here. See them? So this painting has both training circles and some that aren't. And that's, oh no, actually, you know what? This whole painting is training circles. I see them all here now. So it is a painting that has training circles on it. But that doesn't bother me because I am a single placer most of the time. And so, yeah, um, of course, it has some creases in it, so it's going to have to get flattened out. Um, it probably came with a basic kit, uh, tool kit, and I don't know where I even put that, but yeah. <laughs> no idea. But anyway, so there's that one. I have opened these ones already, so yeah, I might have taken the tool kits out. But I just wanted to share that, I mean, it is a special day, um, the day that my mom went to heaven and five years ago, and so I wanted to celebrate with you guys, because that is just a joyous occasion. I miss her dearly, but I do know that she is rejoicing, she's in no more pain, and uh, she's happy where she is, so I'm just going to slip this back into here. So yes. And there's the one. Alright. Number two. So this one here is, let's see. This one's a 40 by 40. And oh yeah, this one is gorgeous. Okay, so it comes, ooh, it comes all kitted up. So we are we are lucky. So here's here's it right there. All nicely kitted up for us. Wonderful. I absolutely love these diamonds as well. Um, the ones with the little diamond on it. The sparkle's so nice. Like let's look at that sparkle. Beautiful, beautiful sparkle. Alright. And this one, oh my goodness, look at this. It's crown and it's got the it's got the gate so this is heaven's gate made of gold uh, as many of you um, probably are aware that the streets of the heaven is full of gold got the streets of gold you got the pearly white gates right uh, so this kind of just depicts it this is a 40 by 40 it has 20 colors and it's just gorgeous oh my goodness such a pretty diamond painting um, it is all alphabetical, and yeah, it just got letters in it. It's all alphabetical. Nice. Let's see if I have. I can't. Oh, way over there. Okay. So there it is here. So of course it comes with your basic kit. So in, in the dime painting, you get a tray, you get a little tray, you get a pen, you get a pair, and you get some wax. And that's all you need to start for your diamond painting experience. But anyway, so here is the crown up here. And here is the golden gate. It's got angel wings out here. And then it's got, looks like two thrones or something on the side here. I'm not exactly sure. But I saw this and yes. It just um, 
course we all have most of us know that uh, we have heard that heaven is just all gold all gold and pearls and beautiful and this is what I imagine that the gate will look like when we when we get up to heaven and this gate opens up and it's just gonna be all full of light and yeah so I just thought this one was so so pretty of course it needs some flattening my goodness these ones these paintings came a little bit rough but I have I have been um, I've had these for a while so then I have this one here and my mother loved lilies so let's see if I can pull this one out so yeah she absolutely loved lilies and this one here comes in oh I don't know what that was I'm not sure we're just gonna put it over here all right and here of course it comes this one here comes on a train this is what a train when we talk about trains it means that these are all joined together into one long train like I could like a uh, train you'd see outside <laughs> so yeah Choo -choo. But yes. So really, really nice colors there. This one is a 40 by 40 as well. Yes, it is. So this one is a 40 by 40. And it's just Jesus. This would be a beautiful one to do for uh, Easter time. And I'll probably save it for Easter. I don't know. It just reminds me of Easter. You got beautiful lilies down here, and then you just got Jesus right here. And he's like, come to me. <laughs> so yeah, just beautiful. I don't know how well his face is gonna turn out, to be honest. Um, it looks kind of mushed up in there, but we shall see. We shall see how he turns out. But yeah, I just thought he was beautiful. And like I said, my mother absolutely loved the lilies. And there's the lilies down there. And yeah. I believe these are angels that are flying up here. Um, I'm not sure if they're even going to turn out or even look like angels. But yeah. Really, really pretty. This one has 20 colors, and it's all letters. All letters. And then, I'm sorry, I don't think I showed you the Joe Phil for the last one. But here's a Joe Phil for this one. Really, really nice and clear. But here, I'll show you where's his face. Do you see his face there? Don't think he's going to turn out that well. So I might have to do some doctoring on the face. But we shall see how he does turn out. But yeah, really, really pretty. So like I said, I'll probably save this one for Easter next year. I mean, it just reminds me of an Easter uh, picture. But there's that one. All right. Kind of fine. Am I missing one? So, where is it here? I think it's this one, yes. So this one here is a 40 by 50. And this one definitely. Definitely. <laughs> tells the stories of the Bible. So, here we go. Not sure how much you're going to see of all this, but it is a, like I said, it is a 40. Ooh, this one has quite a nice crease in it, so we're going to have to definitely work that out. Like I said, a lot of these paintings have came quite creased and stuff, so not happy with that, but what can you do? But here anyway, here it is. So you have, at the very bottom here, you have the Lord's Supper, 
And then over here you have Jonah and the whale. And then here is Daniel with the lion's den. See the lions over here? Hopefully you can make that out. Then of course you have the Bible here. And then on top you have, there's Noah's Ark. And then here is Jesus. So I presume that's his ascension or it could be his coming, not sure. But anyway, you have little Jesus up there. Now again, I don't know how well these are gonna turn out cause they're just so tiny. <laughs> but it just totally, this painting totally just depicts all the stories that my mom used to tell me when I was younger and so yeah I just thought it was amazing now I have a really really big Noah's Ark I would like to start on I'm gonna start on that next month I think but um, for zoo animals but I definitely won't get it done but I I do want to get that one started and but yeah this one has a huge fold in it unfortunately I don't know if you can see that oh dear Oh dear, sometimes if I can just, yeah, no, it's going to have to be worked on, definitely worked on. And yeah, that just folded right up there in there, which isn't good. So I'm going to have to work on that one, but yeah, absolutely love, love this painting. And maybe if I do a bit of a release on it, it will help. Ooh, this one is very sticky. My goodness, my goodness. I'm just going to try to pull it. Sometimes pulling it helps a little bit. So I just kind of pull the pull the painting and just kind of stretch it in a way. See how that just kind of flattens it out? And then I'm going to try to put the release paper on top. And hopefully that will be enough to get it a little bit flatter but yeah it's already flattened out quite a quite a bit just from doing that um, oops. Yeah. so let's see hopefully oops. Like I said a very very sticky painting very very sticky. This one again is a 40 by 50. So yeah, I got quite a bit of that out, which is really really nice. And I'm going to just make sure this is nice and straight on here. There we go. And I'll probably have to work on this a little bit more just to get all the little curves in. But yeah, it's a lot straighter than what it was. So. I'm just going to keep this one straight too. I'm not going to roll it back up or anything. But, and then what I usually will do is I'll put my own uh, placement papers. I'll take this actually totally off and put my placement papers on. And, yeah. So that's kind of how I work out my paintings. And then on the back here, look at how nice that has come out already. That big fold that was there is gone there's still a little bit one here you can see a little bit so I'm going to work on that get it all out but yeah much much better but I'm not going to fold this one but anyway so here's this one and then here are the colors and yeah so it just reminded me of all the Bible stories my mom used to tell me when I was a youngin <laughs> yep So really really nice colors and like I said these all come from Timu um, all of them so I'm just gonna flip this over for now and just use it so this one here I got two of, I think I got two of them I'm not sure uh, this one here is um, I think this is Kind of what it's gonna look like when Jesus comes back. Uh, and ooh, nice! So this one comes all kitted up here. Look at that! Look at those colors. Really, really nice. So got lots of browns and some reds. A couple whites, whites. Uh, well, it's kind of off-white peach. So yeah, 
really really nice colors there and of course they come all bagged up so it's all kitted ready to go all you have to do is get your pen and start diamond painting uh, this one is a 40 by 40 but look at him so absolutely gorgeous 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 I absolutely love this one so you got your now I have seen clouds like this in New Mexico here and this is always what I think of when I see these clouds oh I bet you that's kind of what's gonna look like when Jesus comes back and um, this picture just kind of reminded me of of it and so yeah uh, so so pretty and I just love the colors. I love the, it's going to look like fire. <laughs> fire, fire. But the trumpet's going to sound. And yes. And then he will descend. And he's going to descend on, actually he's going to descend on a fiery horse. But maybe this is one of his angels. <laughs> Looks like an angel to me. So yeah. I think I'm going to say it's an angel. Fiery angel. Maybe it's Gabriel. But anyway. There we go. So I just thought this was so beautiful. And yeah. When it gets stormy here. Um, actually, I took a short that showed kind of the skyline looking like this. Of course, there was no angel in it, <laughs> but um, there was a lightning storm or a thunderstorm going on, and I was able to capture the hues and stuff of the sunset, but it kind of looked like how this looks here, with the clouds at the bottom and just the different colors, but yeah, I just thought that one was so, so pretty. Um, one, this one has 24 colors. It is one through A and B through T. So it is all numerical and alphabetical. But here's a gel fill for this one. So yeah. So this one's going to have quite a bit of color blocking in it, it looks like, which is nice. And so yeah. So really really pretty look at those wings oh, just gorgeous wings oh my goodness absolutely love the wings so I just love this picture here I should say love the diamond painting it is a picture but yeah I love the diamond painting and I think it's gonna look fabulous when it's done what do you guys think let me know do you think it's an angel think it's one of God's angels let me know so there's this one And I got one more for you guys and that's it then we're done so this one's a 40 by 40 and I just absolutely love this um, this one comes all kitted up as well which is nice this one has a fold in it as well that we're gonna have to fix but he, here's the colors here really nice colors and yeah it's all kitted up ready to go here it is. And this one here, oh my goodness. Do I have it upside down? I think I have it upside down. So, you've got the Bible. Obviously, you can tell this is a Bible. To me, it looks like a Bible anyway. And you can, it's kind of got gold edges on it, right? But look at these beautiful wings. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like it's kind of in the um, cosmos, <laughs> cosmo world. <laughs> Up there in the heavens yeah it is a darker painting so I suggest if you do get this on you get a light board to use with it like I said um, some of these paintings are older so I'm gonna have to see if I can find all the links so wish me luck <laughs> but I should I should find them I'm pretty good at searching out my team let me tell ya But yeah, this one's just so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. 
just love the colors and this is what it's all about right here guys right here the Bible the Bible has so many stories and um, truths I'm gonna say truths I know a lot of people don't believe it but I do and he Jesus is gonna come again he you watch one day he will come back and he's gonna save this world <laughs> We don't know when, but he's going to come back and he's going to save it. So, yes. So, don't doubt. <laughs> no doubting. No doubting. Things have to happen for, the, for everything to be in place for him to return. But I just thought this was so, so pretty with the Bible. And then you got the wings, the angel wings here. And, yeah, just thought it was gorgeous. So anyway, those are my paintings, and I just wanted to share those with you today, as, um, like I said, I wouldn't know my Jesus if it wasn't probably for my parents, because they taught us at a very young age who Jesus was, and that Jesus loved us. And yes, we, we sang, Jesus loves me all the time. Yes, he does. Jesus loves me. And you know what? He loves you. So with that, thank you so much for joining me and um, I love my mom. <laughs> so yeah, just give me a moment. <laughs> this, is, this is really special. So yeah, I usually don't cry. <laughs> I'm not a crier, but yeah, it's just special, special to me and um, I miss her. But I give God the glory, and she's up there, she's praising God, and she's with her friends, she's with her family, and so that makes me very happy. Um, but with that, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, enjoy it. I'm going to diamond paint. I'm going to catch up on some channels. Oh my goodness, I got so far behind yesterday. I talked to my Tilly. Oh, talk about Tilly. I've been doing her, her challenge, so just Kelly put up a challenge to do uh, one little diamond painting or um, something that uh, it could be off canvas or whatever. So I've been doing that, so I got, I don't know where I was at. I know I did show some of these before, but I did this little puppy, and all I have to do is post it on her Facebook page. So. Here's a little puppy there. So I will link her channel in my description because I have been working on these. And then I did a cross. And here's another little puppy. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I showed all these with her. And this beautiful bookmark. I know Miss Lynn over there at Diamond Grandma would absolutely love this one. She loves her bees. Bees, bees, bees. Anyway, and then I've done two coasters. So... I have six of them completed, so now I, today I need to do my seventh one, and so yeah, really, really nice. So that is what I worked on. Today I'll probably do another cross, because then I'll have two of those, got my two puppies, and then the next day I'll do another bookmark. And we'll just continue throughout the whole month. Uh, I told her I would be up for this challenge with her, so I'm going to stick with it as best as I can, and so yeah. That's really all I did yesterday. <laughs> anyway, I talked to her for quite a long time. I talked to, with Lynn in the morning. And uh, she's feeling better, but she's still not 100%. So please give her time. Um, that That is Dawn Painting uh, with with Lynn Marie. I think, it's, I think it's Dawn Painting with Lynn Marie. I'm not sure. But I will link her new channel. She, she lost her old channel, unfortunately. But she's got a new channel. So I will link that one as well. And sorry, I still got, yes, tears. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, uh, but with that, guys, yes, have a fabulous day from my home to yours. And as always, God's richest blessings. And I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.